The Dukes of Hazards: Return of the General Lee, a game for the original Xbox that sat on my shelf for many years. But today, I'm going to finally find out what it is. Well, let's pop it in. Now that we're done with all that bullshit, we can play the game! Welcome to Hazard County. Y'all notice they do things different here. Ooh, copyrighted jams. We the only way they know how. Oh man, this AI looks top notch. Let's get right into this. So right off the bat, this is looking very Dukes of Hazards. You find things pretty much the way you left them. So if you don't already know, what you're about to see is kind of wrong. Culture and good breeding are still the rule. Don't you dare! Basically, the intro cutscene is an introduction on how bad the police are in this town. And we get another cutscene right after that cutscene. So if I don't get the money to Boss Hog soon, he's gonna foreclose on us. Now that's just plain wrong. Say, ain't the stock car race today? I bet that prize money be more than enough to pay off the mortgage. If you can win, that is. Now who left the door open? You got an appointment, Boss Hog? This ain't a business call, Coda. I'm just visiting with friends. You looking for some more offense to rob? So I'm sick of this stupid shit. Fuck game. Can't fucking do this anymore. Fucking piece of shit. I just dropped by to say there ain't no way you gonna win that stock car race. You think this is unbearable? Imagine if I didn't cut stuff out. There's been at least 10 minutes of cutscenes so far. This game feels more like a movie. <laughs> You see, it's like this. Now, Boss was confident, and rightly so. Because while he was talking, <laughs> Roscoe was taking out a little insurance policy on the race. Decaf insurance with two sugars. If you don't understand why this is important, it's because coffee and sugar fucks the engine of your car. I hope you fellas is ready to lose big time against my double zero. Come on, Roscoe. Can you really beat the double zero in this outfit? Darling, the General Lee is the fastest automobile in Hazard County. Ain't that the truth? So this cutscene is just basically a quick summary about how they built the car, nothing too important. Five things you need to know to make that vehicle a racing legend. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's round him up. Why does it feel like he missed something there? Uh, this is taking long to load. Oh. It, it is loaded. What? Don't even get a speedometer? Y'all see them circle stars and the colors of the good old US of A well drive Whoa. Right through them to I've already crashed this is off to a good start pickups in this neck of the woods wow this thing slides around so we gotta find five parts easy enough man those things pop up out of nowhere like how am I supposed to catch that and now it's not giving me them like where where do I go now Hey, once y'all got everything, meet me back at the junkyard gate. Dang, it's like a maze in here. 
He beat me to it. Him. So this area is pretty much just a tutorial area for the player to get used to the game from what I've gathered. Oh, there's one of the parts. Alright, I gotta figure out how to get up there. I think I saw a ramp over here, so let's go launch off of it. Uh, come on, buddy, let's do this. Yeah! Wow, that kinda actually really sucks. If you play the Dixie Horde. Did he just say it'll make the game funner if I hit the horn? Them jumps are a heck of a lot funner if you play the Dixie Horn. Shock absorbers on aisle 10. Okay, I guess this is Dukes of Hazards, but like, wow. If you need to tell someone to honk the horn to make a game more fun, maybe you should have just made a better game in the first place. Alright game, I'm bored. Let's try the horn. That's it? That's it? Oh, I can make him scream too. Wonderful. Alright, enough of that. What is this thing doing? Why is it drive like this? <laughs> I bet we could get into the junkyard through that drain. We'll check that drain later. Right now we gotta get those. I mean at least it turns nice. Kind of. Oh sweet. Valves check out fine, Cooter. <laughs> I'm checking the map. Oh, okay. It's one of these. Great. Very helpful. Alright, I found most of the parts. There's one right ahead, so I'm gonna get this. Yee. Oh. What? Wait, what? Are you fucking. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I need a replay. That all, Cooter? Roscoe's getting a little too close for comfort. Found us an exhaust, Cooter. And I'll do it. I'll take it from here, boys. You heard the man. Get us out of here. All right. Now that we got all the parts, we can exit this junkyard. This car's gonna purr with these partner. parts. Nice Cowboy drive, partner. Cuz. Boys, with a proper automobile, y'all could really make it on the surface. This is by far the worst 3D model I've seen in this game. Well, what's your game? Tell you what, y'all. Beat me back to my garage, and I will build your dream car. Okay, I'm three. Right after Sneaky, exiting the junkyard, good. Cooter challenges us to a now. race, and we'll if we win, he'll customize our car for us. Of course, right off the bat, I flipped the car. Then I went off course, and I crashed into a fence. After resetting again, I then made the jump, and promptly crashed right into a tree. My fourth run, I followed directions incorrectly, and I took a wrong turn, allowing Cooter to get ahead. I'm not gonna show all my attempts, but on my ninth attempt, I finally made it. Upon finishing the race, we're transported back to the garage with the fully upgraded General Lee. And after we install them parts, he's been winning for us ever since. Ain't you, General? Uh, gentlemen, check the time. We're late. Don't you worry, Sally Joe. We'll make it on time. So, right after the cutscene, we now have to race to the race to make it before the race starts. Sounds weird, I know. Step on it, Bo. We gotta get to that race. Now, I have to admit, this is where the game actually starts getting kind of fun. You can start throwing the car around. You don't have to pay as much attention to the map. But it doesn't last long. Better take the dirt road, boys. Need to set up a roadblock on the highway. So now here we are given two choices. We can either go up this dirt road or go left. I personally can't tell you which option is well, better be because going left 
I came up to a roadblock and crashed, lost all my momentum, and restarted. Going right, it leads me to a dirt road. You crash through a fence, and you're supposed to jump onto the highway across the roadblock that you saw earlier. But the game gives you no indication about where you're supposed to go, so you're just kind of riding along, and all of a sudden, whoa, I get launched, and then I'm in a fence. So restart. In my third attempt, I hit a button and messed up the camera, so you're going to have to deal with this first person camera. Also, big surprise, I fucked that one up too. Well, not completely. I ended up recovering and speeding off. Now being chased by the police, we have 30 or so seconds to make it to the racetrack, which didn't prove difficult, as I made it with 20. Gentlemen and ladies, if there's any on the track... <laughs> I heard that, Roscoe! So finally, here we are, our mortgage payments. And the game actually gives us a HUD now, so we can see what position we're in and how many laps we have. Still no speedometer, though. All right, looks like we're coming up on a left here. Oh man, he's taking that left. Oh man, look, here comes another left. He's gonna get that left. Oh, he's taking that left. Ooh, a hard left turn from the blue car in first. Oh man, looks like our boys are taking it wide on this left turn. Oh, he's taking a left turn and the General Lee hits a traffic cone and it moves the whole damn car. Wow, this is an amazing race. Only 16 more left turns to go. So remember that coffee? Yeah. This is where that comes into play. Right before you reach the finish line, the car shits out. Looks like our boys aren't gonna pay their mortgage this time. Everything checks out here, except for that funny smell. Mm -hmm. If I ain't mistaken, that's the delicious aroma of Hazard County Blend. You mix the finest high-octane fuel with a touch of decaf. It's a cold train family recipe. <laughs> <laughs> this guy must think this is really funny. You spiked our tank. no chance of paying that mortgage now. Now, now, boys, don't fret none. I could see you part of the money. Yeah, that is in exchange for your services.